As coders, most of our work is done in a dedicated code editor that has all sorts of bells and whistles for working with our code files. Occasionally, though, we have to put on our sysadmin hats and do work via the command line. In the world of web development, this often happens if we're interacting and configuring a server, or we might be using uh, command line based tools as part of our development process. Regardless of what you're doing when you're working in the command line, you often find yourself needing to make uh, small edits to text files, typically things like configuration files. And so it's good to have the knowledge of how to use a command line based text editor. And there's several different options out there when it comes to command line text editors. Um, several of them though have a steep learning curve. So what I generally recommend is Nano. It's a very simple to use text editor and it's installed on a lot of systems. So it's just a good go-to choice. So knowing that, let's jump right in and uh, start to work with Nano. I'm gonna be demonstrating this just locally on my computer using my command line program. Uh, you could of course also do this if you were connected to some remote server. So step one, we wanna create a file. And so just move to some directory on your computer where you can create a, a practice file. In my case, I'm just gonna create it on my desktop. And then I'm gonna use Nano. So I'll invoke the Nano command. And I like to add the dash M flag. This is uh, short for mouse interaction. This is gonna make it so we'll be able to click around in our text file when making edits uh, versus the alternative, which is having to use the arrow keys to navigate around, which could be a little uh, cumbersome. All right, now after that flag, we need to specify the name of the file we wanna edit. And I'm just gonna call this example.txt. And that should open up the nano interface. All right, so up here is where you enter your text. Down here, you see like a, a key of all the different shortcuts that you can use in Nano. Uh, and to kick things off, let's uh, just add some example text here. I'm gonna go to the notes that accompany this video. I've got some example text we can work with. So I'm just gonna copy this, bring it over into Nano, paste that in. And uh, just to make a quick edit to this, I've got this place here where you could put your name. And because we did enter this in mouse mode, we could just click the cursor up there delete the existing text, and then you could just swap in your own name. So once we're happy with our changes, we wanna save our file and exit it. The way we're gonna do that is using the exit command. And you can see that this command is represented by this little caret character followed by X. And the caret character is just representing the control key on your keyboard. So I'm gonna hold down control X to initiate the exit process. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save my changes. I'm gonna type the letter Y for yes. Then it'll ask me for a file name. And because I just wanna use the name of the file when I first created it, I'm not gonna enter anything here. I'll just let it stay as example.txt and I'll just hit enter. And that's it. We can confirm that our changes were actually saved. We can just use the cat command to output the contents of the file. And we should see everything we had added in nano. And then if we wanted to continue to make edits, we would just run that same nano-m flag with the name of the file. Um, and this time, because the file already exists, it's gonna be uh, editing that existing file rather than creating a new one. So that's the bare bones fundamentals of just opening files, making changes, and then saving your changes. Uh, beyond that, some other common shortcuts I often use in nano are things like the search feature. So that's just this where is command down here. So you can see that's uh, control W. And then you can just uh, search in a, uh, type in a search term. So I'm just gonna type in nano, hit enter. It's gonna find the first occurrence of that within the file. And then if I wanna continue to search for the file for other occurrences, I'll just hit that control W command again. And you can see it's, it's got my last search here. So if I just hit enter without typing anything, it's gonna go to the next instance of that search term within my file. And that can be really useful, especially in config files. We might be dealing with hundreds or even thousands of lines of configs. So being able to quickly search and get to the config you're looking for can be really uh, helpful. Another shortcut I find myself using frequently is the cut text shortcut. This will allow us to remove entire lines at a time. So for example, let's say I wanted to get rid of this first line here. I can move my cursor to the beginning of the line and then do control K and then I'll remove the line. And then of course I could repeat this if I needed to remove uh, several lines um, from the file. All right, and that's useful because you'll notice you can't really operate in Nano like a regular uh, you know, point and click based text editor where you could select an entire line and then hit delete. Um, you're, you're a little bit more limited. So you could either navigate to the line and delete the individual letters of the line or um, go to the beginning of the line. And like I said, use control K to cut it out. And in terms of shortcuts, those are the three most common ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis when working with Nano. Uh, the exit command, the search command, and then the ability to cut lines of text. There are other shortcuts, as you can see down here. And if you go to the documentation, uh, you'll see a full list beyond just this of other shortcuts. But 
all of that stuff is things that if you're getting to that point where you need to do those more advanced things in your uh, code file, chances are you shouldn't be working in Nano. At that point, it would make sense to go through the process of opening up that file in your code editor of choice. All right, so let's wrap things up. Let's exit out of here. So again, we could do Control X to start the exit process. Or a little tip, because we started this with the mouse interaction flag, we could actually just click that shortcut. Uh, so that's that's handy if you forget what the shortcut is. Um, but I do recommend getting comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts just because it's going to make it uh, quicker as you're working in command line. But just to show that this works, I'll just click Exit. And then it'll ask me if I want to save my changes. So I type in Y for yes, and then hit Enter. And just to clean things up, I'll go ahead and delete that file. Not something that we could do directly with Nano, but I can just use my remove command. And then we're all set.